Have you ever wondered how many sunrises and sunsets the astronauts on the International Space Station witness every day? Well, the answer might surprise you. They see 16 each day. Yes, you heard it right, 16. That's because the International Space Station orbits the Earth every 90 minutes. Now, you may be thinking, how fast does it need to travel to complete an orbit in such a short time? The speed is a whopping 17,500 miles per hour. To put that in perspective, it's like traveling from Delhi to Mumbai in less than seven minutes. And speaking of speed, let's move on to the construction of this massive structure. The International Space Station, often referred to as ISS, is a joint project between NASA, Roscosmos, JAXA, ESA, and CSA. It took over a decade to construct and launched in November 1998. You might be curious about the size of this station. The ISS is larger than a six-bedroom house and can support a crew of six people living aboard it. It has two bathrooms, a gym, and a 360-degree viewing window. The International Space Station isn't just a living space. It's a laboratory in space. Scientists from around the world use the ISS to conduct experiments that couldn't be done on Earth. For instance, they study the effects of long-term space travel on the human body, which is crucial for planning future missions to Mars and beyond. Now, here's a fun fact. The International Space Station is the single most expensive object ever built. The cost is estimated to be around $150 billion. That's more than the GDP of most countries in the world. So, to summarize, the International Space Station orbits the Earth 16 times a day at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. It's a joint project between five space agencies and took over a decade to complete. The ISS is larger than a six-bedroom house, serves as a laboratory, and is the most expensive object ever built. Isn't it fascinating how much we can achieve when countries work together towards a common goal? The International Space Station truly is a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration.